All right, good Sunday morning from Peterson's Farm of Nashville. Phil here, and uh, today we are going to move an old refrigerator out of the house and a new refrigerator and stove into the house. Why? Because my wife found a good deal on a refrigerator, and obviously the stove in our current house didn't match the refrigerator. So she saved enough money on the refrigerator to justify buying a new stove. How does that work, ladies? I guess it's just like tractors and tractor implements. I'll show you here. I want to go ahead and uh, show you a new tool that we did purchase just for this. And it's a great tool. Um, it's the Franklin 600-pound uh, capacity appliance hand truck. And let me tell you a little bit about it. It is one of those appliance hand trucks I've been looking to buy, but if you're like me, don't want to spend the uh, price on one, they're usually 175 to over 200 bucks. Now I realize this may not be the quality of some of those, but in my case, and the amount of use that I do use it for, this uh, looked pretty substantial. And the best part about it is... It's got, obviously, the deck plate, and then it's got a fold-out if you want to carry something a little bit more stability. It has all the straps to it, so you can secure the load, just like it shows in the picture. And the best part about it is this thing normally sells for 175 at Harbor Freight but I happen to be in there they happen to have it on sale for like 135 and then with my membership discount I purchased it for a whopping $109 so I think that's a pretty good deal so let's see how she works you do have to be careful Blinking a bunch of water. You do have to be careful of overhead lighting in the kitchen when you do this type of thing. And also on the front porch. Ugh. Well, there we go. That's how you do refrigerator removal. One man show with the refrigerator dolly. Don't mind the mess inside. So anyway, that's how we do it here in Nashville, Indiana. Now, get ready and hold on to your socks for the next step. show it's handy to have a tractor with forklifts or with forks in my case my Kubota L3301 and land pride pallet forks and I got plenty of pallets around too so it comes in handy all right now let's see how handy it really is if we can get this sucker on here by myself, <clears throat> all we got to do is get it over to the edge. All right. So, we 
Would you look at that? I don't know what to say. I amazed myself. Just one tip for those of you keeping score, but if you use pallets, see how the boards run a certain way? Well, if you're loading or unloading something with little feet like this, like a stove, you want to line those boards up with the feet. Makes it easier to slide off and on. So that's Phil's tip of the day, using pallets and a pallet fork. All right, I just went ahead and removed the door. Made all the difference in the world. At least, uh, still wouldn't have got in there without removing the doors on the refrigerator. So, hope you enjoyed it. Just a little tip I wanted to share with everybody uh, that has these side-by-side uh, -side doors on these newer refrigerators and it has the bottom freezer drawer. Well, this is a Frigidaire gallery and um, one of the things I noticed in the showroom is these doors on most of the units do not, they're not even, right? They're off just a little bit. But I found just a quick fix on how to uh, adjust that. And really, just using a crescent wrench and you have to be very careful whichever door needs to be adjusted up is what I'd work on but this bottom hinge here you've got a bottom hinge Let's see if we can get yeah. you've got this bottom hinge here and all I'm doing is just applying pressure up just a little bit at a time. You want to be very careful not to break this bracket off of the uh, refrigerator itself. But if you work it up just a little bit at a time, you'll get that door perfectly straight with the other door. So just thought I'd share that to my YouTube friends and family.
Peterson Farms in Nashville, signing out. Installing the uh, refrigerator in our home. Replacing the old one, 17 years old, finally went out. And uh, we're real happy with this. Hopefully we'll have a review on the Frigidaire Gallery. And uh, really nice, I think we'll enjoy it. Have a great day.